I, said, I wondered about that for 30 some years. I know the answer. They all have cells, right? The trees sure. matter to cells, the, 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 the asparagus is made out of cells, the agave is made out of cells, the uh, pomegranate is made out of cells. So we're all made out of cells. And inside the cells, there are ribosomes. And the ribosomes are the place where the RNA is coming from the nucleus go to be translated into proteins. That is, you take triplets of, of nucleotides on an RNA and you translate them into amino acids, three triplets for one amino acid, and you string them out and put them together biochemically, and you have a protein. And so we have 22,000 genes, human beings, 22,000 single copy genes. So here it is, we've got this ability to make 22,000, and the plant has about 20,000 genes also, but we have the same ribosomes, we have the same genes that came from bacteria and archaea billions of years ago, common inheritance, something like three to 500 genes are the same in that plant that are in our bodies. That's what I'm interested in, right? What goes on in the existing realm that makes it worthwhile to serve humanity and become a public domain plant breeder is that we need to improve the food system. The food system right now is giving more disease than it's giving health. Is that the root of it? I mean, is that the root of, of what's driving you? I mean, would you sum it up that way? <coughs> yes, I would. I would say that uh, I would, uh, having had some scientific <coughs> insight about ribosomes and protein synthesis and what nutrition is, how come people aren't talking about amino acids and they're always talking about proteins? You eat a protein, you break it down to amino acids, and you rebuild your own proteins from the code inside should be talking about amino acids. So we did 500 analyses of free amino acids and organically grown stuff just to check out. Well, tomatoes have 17 out of the 20 used to make proteins. Everything we touch has free amino acids in it. There's no selection, no work done on it. Oh, that makes it interesting, right? When there's no work being done in science on something that's a primary thing, it's because somebody is off that the whole system doesn't really grok what was discovered with molecular biology. We don't really get it that it's made out of amino acids. The, another kind of thing is, uh, has to do with sugars. Mm -hmm. We have six carbon sugars. We have fructose, glucose, and the 12 carbon sucrose, right? Three most common sugars. There's dozens of other sugars, including the sugars that used to make ribose and deoxyribose to make RNA and DNA. Mm -hmm. How come nobody knows he has food systems that increase the amount of the sugars that make nucleic acids rather than ones that just make sweetness? What is the system selecting for since it's not looking for these things? It's, well, it's selecting for uh, the bottom line in corporations that don't care about health and nutrition because the people who are actually running them have no idea about health and nutrition. They just follow the leader. The leader has been that we live in a slaughterhouse society where we murder immense numbers of animals all the time, and we spray huge amounts of chemical poisons on agricultural monocultures. It, the whole thing is a catastrophe, and we're watching it take over the society and the world. So if I wanted to do something that would have meaning, I would look for alternatives to this whole system. And that's what we've done. last 40 years is really, I had no idea about gardening. I learned how to garden. I had no idea about what the diversity of biology and life is. I study it, right? I worked when I was young. I worked on bacteria and viruses. Then I start to work on plants, and you begin to see, wow, how come we don't do nutritional selection? A good example is uh, GABA, GABA. It's gamma aminobutyric acid. So it's one of the uh, neurotransmitters of the body. Some people, when they have uh, Tourette syndrome, or they have different neuromuscular problems, they can take gamma aminobutyric acid, and it, it quiets down the neurological characteristics of the disease. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, you could eat a, a tomato rather than a pill. A holistic nutritional approach. Exactly. And, and, and a natural one that somebody could, on their back porch, grow a bunch of tomatoes and be eating, the, uh, uh, you know, or they could have a little greenhouse hooked up to their house, and they could have tomatoes all year round with a, a little light. I mean, that all of a sudden, if they knew what to grow, if anybody cared enough to be able to say, why don't we select our GABA high uh, tomatoes and then put them in the public domain so anybody can do this? Not what we're taught. Well, <laughs> in fact, antithetical to what we're taught. Yeah. But tomatoes but, come from the grocery store. Uh, well, and what so we're taught, right? <clears throat> what we really want to teach is how to garden, how to garden organically. And <clears throat> anybody who really likes nature and takes a walk on a, on a beautiful day in some place they've never been, can see flowers and plants they've never seen before, 
There's 3,600 species of flowering plants in Oregon, something like that, and about probably mm, two-thirds of them are native, maybe not that many, but there's a lot of native species, and if you walk around and live here and you grow old and your kids live here and they go look around, you'll tell them stories of what you saw when you were young, like old-growth trees that were huge and now they're gone. Why do we kill huge ancient trees? It's hard to believe to get pulp fiber. It's nuts. Whereas what all these in, inconspicuous little plants that have flowers, whether it's wild orchids or it's sand verbenas or it's all these incredible, we can be growing these. Instead, we grow exotics from all over the world and we watch the biodiversity of our own environment get less and less and less and less.